Hey there folks, Mark here on the Culinary Compass, back in the garden. It's uh, early June and it is still time for a lot of that early season work in the garden. You may not consider early June to be early season, but it still is for us up here in zone five. So the most important thing to me in the garden is not the tools. It's not even the plants as they first go in. It is the soil. It is all about the soil. What I want to propose to you is that there's a much less expensive way, both for the actual compost, the actual supply, but also prevents you from having to get in your car and burn some gasoline getting there and taking the time to get there and back. So last year, I basically went and found someone who would bring some of this compost to my house. And the way that this compost gets measured is in yards. Now, right here, you're looking about, I don't know, maybe a yard of soil. How many bags at the store would this make? This, believe it or not, costs me about 30 bucks. And remember, I'm saving that gasoline and I'm saving time. The other wonderful thing is, it's here. Anytime I need soil for anything, all I gotta do is come in here with my shovel and either get one scoop or I bring my wheelbarrow down here and I get more. So I highly recommend that you find a corner somewhere on your property where you can do this. Now, another thing that's fantastic about having this soil here is it is a place where you can hold plants. Now, last year I split these hostas up. This was, uh, this is, I, I split up like a monster one and I got like, you know, eight different batches of hostas out of it. And uh, there were a few batches I just were, you know, I wasn't ready to plant. So what did I do with them? Instead of panicking and having to get them in the ground, I didn't know where they were gonna go exactly. I went ahead and I plunged them right in here. And so anytime I'm ready to take these hostas out, I'll go in, I'll pull it, and I will go ahead and plant it. So this is a holding bed as well. I highly recommend you go ahead, you get yourself maybe two, three yards, you're talking a hundred bucks, and you're gonna have soil anytime you need it. The last thing I wanted to show you is, it's not just about soil. For my flower gardens, I actually use um, kind of like a basic kind of chipped wood. So I'm sitting right now in about a yard, let's say, yard and a half. So this is about $40 of mulch. And uh, as you know, we're supposed to mulch our plants, all right, our flowers pretty heavily, especially when it gets cold and we're going into winter, we want to protect those plants. Um, give it a try. I think you're gonna find you're gonna save some gas, you're gonna save some annoyance of having to be in your car driving around, uh, and you're gonna be supporting a local farmer. So that's a great thing too, because most of the compost you're gonna buy, even in your local garden shops, it has to go on a truck from somewhere to get to the local garden shop. And of course, there's the plastic bag. So environmentally, this is a great, great, great approach. And it also saves you a lot of money and it saves you time. I can go ahead and take this right now, no car, and I can go into my garden and mulch some flower plants that I'm concerned about because it doesn't have enough protection. So that's it. Ciao for now.